All right, welcome back. Uh, this is uh, we were talking about uh, curve runoff numbers, uh, the three different things they're dependent on. In the last video, we just talked about uh, soil groups, group A, B, C, and D. And in this video, we'll talk about the last two things the runoff uh, curve numbers are dependent on. Um, and the first of those last two things are hydrologic condition. Hydrologic conditions. And the hydrologic condition uh, refers to how dense ground cover is or how easily water runs off the surface. Okay, uh, We have three different ways of classifying. There's poor, fair, and good. Okay, Poor means that there's, um, the ground cover is not too dense, meaning there's less than 50% uh, vegetation cover. Okay. Fair is moderate cover, moderate cover, There's not should be a period there. Uh, so fair is moderate cover, so it's um, a little bit more cover than the poor, poor condition, but not as much as the good condition. The good condition is heavy, heavy to dense uh, vegetation cover. Okay, there's lots of vegetation, lots of uh, grass, plants, all that sort of stuff. Lots of roots. Um, and again, if we run into a, a hydrology problem and we don't know what the hydrologic condition is, if it, if it doesn't state or there's no way of finding it out, uh, we can safely assume that it's a, it's a fair condition. All right. And the last thing the r curve runoff numbers are um, dependent on is the antecedent antecedent well, I think that's an E antecedent uh, moisture content moisture moisture content and that's abbreviated AMC okay and there's three um, levels of AMC there's AMC let me write down all the AMC's first AMC there's one two and can you guess the last one? It's three. Woohoo. AMC one, two, and three. Antecedent moisture content uh, basically tells us how wet something is. So AMC one uh, would be soil that's pretty dry, relatively dry. Okay. Antecedent, antecedent moisture content two is uh, average condition. Average uh, condition. Okay. So it's not completely dry, but it's not as wet as. Um, AMC 3. And AMC 3 is, um, so pretend you have, uh, let's let's say you're, you're studying a certain area, it was dry soil, and then suddenly it rained. Uh, it had You had a very, very heavy rainfall all day. Um, that would be AMC 3. The soil, the ground cover, or the ground is uh, pretty, very, very wet. So this is the condition after uh, a heavy rainfall heavy rainfall or a light rainfall a light rainfall that's um, light rainfall after five days so five days of uh, light rainfall so AMC 3 is the wettest of the three um, and AMC 1 is uh, pretty dry AMC 2 is uh, average condition all right so AM antecedent mo antecedent moisture content hydrologic condition, and soil groups are the three different things the curve number is uh, dependent on. Um, in the next video, uh, I'll show you um, a chart we can use to uh, get the curve runoff numbers, and then we'll do a, uh, an example uh, finding the curve runoff numbers. All right, so see you then.